Pierre, welcome to uh, our, our offices here at Everest Group. Uh, it's good to see you again. Uh, you and I work together. Uh, I think we've got between us, we've got six decades of experience, and we worked together for a number of a uh, number of those years. Dinosaurs that we are, but uh, yeah, no, it's great to see you again, uh, Michael. Um, your role as Chief Research Officer for uh, Spend Matters, and my role as Chief Research Officer here at at, at Everest Group, uh, gives us a really good dialogue. We're going to do a series of videos um, that we'll talk about a number of things. But uh, any any thoughts as you as you? Well, I think well, I think it's great to just be here again and just uh, and not just seeing you so long, but just to collaborate with Everest. I mean, I've been reading the the peak matrices, you know, around procurement outsourcing. Just very familiar with your organization, and um, I think you'll be uh, th there's some interesting synergy that we can have in our conversations. Hopefully, some insights that we can share with the uh, with those who are watching. Yeah. So we're going to do a series of videos here. We're going to focus in on some of the hottest trends, some of the changing roles of procurement. Uh, what are some of those things we keep hearing the word digital? What does it really mean? We're going to talk about that and give our two sides of our, 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 our perspectives on, from, from our mutual viewpoints and, uh, and, and ha I think hopefully have a good conversation. So let's start with some of our data and uh, you know, you know the, the place I always, I always like to start with is what's happening in real life. And so on your screen you're going to see a chart there that represents uh, kind of a change in the mix of the deals just in the, in the last couple of years here. And uh, you're going to see a uh, large, large services, um, large services outsourcing projects. Outsourcing projects. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so we're, you know, just go back a few years. The main value proposition was around labor arbitrage, mm -hmm. and it was really focused in on how do I get uh, take advantage of lower cost locations, lift and shift, and all that. Yes, yeah. mm -hmm. yes. And um, it, now, when you look at the the casting of digital into these deals, and um, really movement away from the labor arbitrage, really focusing in on a very set, different set of value propositions. Yeah, that makes sense. And it seems like the uh, the deals are getting smaller and more digital. That seems to be um, kind of the... I, yeah. I, I mean, I see it on the procurement side around the impact of how a lot of those service providers are, you know, offering more digital services as well as just the function, you know, itself is, is becoming more is becoming more digital. Yeah, there's some, there's some larger transactions out there, but there's a lot of these digital projects that are kind of coming to play. And so, um, you know, we'll... we'll probably see an uptick in the deal size over time, but right now yeah, there is a tendency to the smaller deals, more, more of them as we go forward here. Okay. But I think the, 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 the other chart that we wanted to share with you is um, you know, really kind of some um, analysis that we've done in, in talking to our clients uh, right here in the last couple of months here and asking you know, how, are, how are those buying patterns changing? I think that's what you and I track a lot is, mm -hmm. is look for buying pattern changes. And uh, we asked the question of two different audiences. We asked the question of our service provider friends and our enterprise friends. And we got them to, to kind of give their, their perspective of what, was, what were they making their investments in 2019. And, uh, and, and, who, and who were those buying centers that were changing here. So on the first chart, we're going to talk about buying center. And what you'll see in the far upper right here is, um, is a really a movement toward increased focus on the chief digital officer. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's not that the CIO is going away, but really the, 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 the increased focus on that chief digital officer. Well, it seems to make sense. I mean, with all the digital transformation efforts, the, the chief digital officer does seem to be the one that's driving a lot of the, the enterprise level transformation. But certainly the business units and the functions are still on the list. I thought it was interesting when you looked at the, uh, the, the graphic that the, um, there was kind of this technology heads in the line of business, and I guess they're not mutually exclusive. You can have, you know, but it's this focus on helping the business very quickly and agilely kind of, you know, support what it's trying to do to support the customers. But it is interesting how that chief digital officer is so far above the chief information officer, you know, um, that's obviously need the plumbing and the infrastructure, but, you know, what's going to make a difference seems yeah, like Yeah, I mean, you'll never get rid of the CIO and you'll never get rid of the CFO, but uh, this, this is really a focus on, on growth in, in budgets. And um, you also saw the C CMO on that same list on the up, on the, toward the upper right here. And the CMO is another big consumer of digital mm -hmm. as they look at understanding their customer and product set and, and how consumers are, 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 are buying that product or potentially buy it. So um, then when we move on to the conversation, what are they buying? Right. Okay, so we know who's doing the buying or doing more of the buying, but now let's look at the, the projects. And so, again, ask the same in the same uh, flavor here. We ask service providers and enterprises what they were, where they see the biggest investments in projects. And if you look in the upper right there, you'll see things like uh, big data. You'll see the automation. You'll mm -hmm. see the cloud cloud solutions. 
Uh, what's your take on that? Well, I mean, certainly I think the cloud solutions is just a very practical way in which most companies are always looking to upgrade their infrastructure. So on the procurement side from, or just a lot of the other business functions, just taking, you know, maybe your core ERP foundation and extending that with intelligence, you know, kind of uh, cloud-based, um, you know, best of breed types of solutions, you know, kind of trying to drive more value out of the process. And then on top of that, adding those kind of analytics and adding mobility and adding some of these other types of things that are going to uh, take it even a little further, especially as you get outside of the box of the function and you're looking at this end-to-end -end process and extending it out to the customers, definitely seems like, um, you know, this, this chart makes a lot of sense. Yeah, and mobility and cybersecurity here, the, those are going to be depending on the sector you're in. That can be a really hot issue right. if you're in an area that has a lot of transactional or, or requirements for security. Um, but it's funny, the blockchain one. Well, yeah, yeah, I know, I we know, both really. point to the blockchain here and it is, it's in the far, uh, far bottom left there. And I don't think it's blockchain's not unimportant. I, I think it's more yeah. in context. It'll be a game changer. I mean, in a lot of industries, financial services, and you know things like that. But typically, the uh, the the CPOs that I talk to are not looking for distributed ledgers to help support what they're trying to do with their you know with the business. You know, there. So it's it's a key infrastructure. But um, I think it's probably going to be more the channel captains, the WalMarts. You know, maybe the. I don't know, maybe the channel pirates, you know, the, the, the not just the industry captains, but the industry pirates like Amazon kind of a dis disrupting things that, um, I think, what did you talk, ecosystem? That's yeah, I, I, think, I think it's more of an ecosystem play than a technology play. So, all right, so what we're going to do, we've got a, uh, a couple more videos planned in the series here. We're going to talk about um, some of the hot issues, uh, what, what are, what's driving that from an issue standpoint. We're going to talk about the digital capability platform where we, are, we talk about the different technologies that are coming together and, and how those are, you can buy different ways of buying it. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the talent and uh, take a very specific an example into the contingent workforce management mm -hmm. uh, topic and then we'll do a wrap with how we can help you. So that's, stay tuned and uh, look forward to our, to our conversations. It make, makes sense, we got the, uh, we got the who and, uh, and the what, and we're gonna then talk about the how. So Absolutely. looking forward to it. Thank you.